will deactivate my coil, de-energize my holding contact, de-energize uh, my 120 volt load. So that you should be able to do a schematic for. Perfect. We'll do another one here, which is going to be, actually let me just de-energize this first. The next one is going to be, uh, uh, sorry, procedure three, which is going to be using a 120 volt load, can be energized from one location. So you have to figure out what kind of uh, push button you need for that. The load can be de-energized from three locations. A second light, light number two, will be energized whenever light one is de-energized. So they will be opposite functions. Okay, so let's just, again, start from the beginning here. Oops. So it's important to figure out, based on that process there, what kind of uh, devices you need uh, for switches, normally opens, normally closed. Again, we want to be able to activate or energize a light from one location and de-energize from three locations. And also we want to be able to um, have one light of two energized at one point. When one is energized, the other one is de-energized. When this is energized, this will de-energize. Okay. So we'll start again on the low voltage side. We're going to need another switch here. So you need to be able to draw a schematic of this. And the way we figure this out is, well, if I'm going to use three switches to deactivate and only one to activate, how are the three deactivations operating? Basically, we wanna be able to deactivate our coil. So how are each one of those three switches connected in reference to each other? What we're gonna do is we're going to use three normally closed switches. So we're gonna use the three red ones here, the three stops, as our three switches to de-energize. And we're gonna use just one switch, the green one, the normally open, to activate. In order that once we activate the coil that it stays energized until we de-energize, we're also gonna use a holding contact on our normally open push button. Then on the, we're going to use one armature to do that. And we're going to use another armature and use those contacts to operate either light at a time. Let's walk through this. So let's do the 24 volt side again. Okay. From our 24 volt supply, we're going to feed into first normally closed contact. We are now gonna put each one of these three normally closed contacts in series with each other. So when we break the circuit by depressing any one of those three, it will de-energize our coil and de-energize uh, a light so it changes position. So I'm just gonna use red just to connect my three normally closed push buttons in series with each other. Then I'm going to come out of the last normally closed push button and feed into my normally open push button. Okay, so right now I have current going through three normally closed, then I'm getting to my normally open. I'm going to change color here, come out of my normally open push button, go to my relay coil number two come out of my relay coil number seven, back to my power supply. 
in order to make sure that my light stays on when I want it to, I'm going to put a set of holding contacts onto my normally open push button. So I'm going to use blue wires here to connect to my uh, armature. I'm going to go from one side, the input side of my normally open push button. I'm going to use armature number one, feed into it for low voltage. And then the other side of my normally open push button, connect to number three, which is a normally open uh, contact. And this actually becomes my holding contact. Okay, so my low voltage side is now complete. On my line voltage side, I'm going to feed my 120 volts into my other armature, common number eight. Then what I'm going to do is uh, for light one, I'm going to come out of terminal number six, feed into this load of that armature and the other terminal, the normally closed side. So that was my normally open. This is my normally closed, goes to my second load. So that way I'm using one armature, one, two, sorry, one 120 volt supply. It's either going to go through my normally closed contact or through my normally open contact. When my relay switches position, my normally closed becomes open and my normally open becomes closed, which will me allow, allow me to control just one light at a time. Okay. The last thing I need to do is to connect my two 120 volt loads to identified all the way back to power supply. Okay. Now you can consider these two lights where this time we can only have one of these two lights illuminated. This could be a form of interlock. So we only have one device operating at a time. For example, if we had a forward motor and a reverse motor, we only have, want to have one activate at a time. This could represent the exact same type of connection. Okay, so let's activate our circuitry and see what, what happens here. So what will happen when I uh, turn on my 120 volt power supply? Will one of my lights be energized and the other one de-energized? or both energized or both de-energized. Let's have a look. I'm gonna turn on my 24 volt. We're on there. Turn on my 120. Our blue light is on right now, okay? So now I want to be able to activate my red light, energize my red, de-energize my blue, and let's just uh, hit my, uh, switch when I let go it stays activated because of my holding contacts when I press the button it allowed current to go through each one of my normally closed push buttons through my normally open that when I depressed it became closed allowed a path of current to go to my 24 volt coil activate the coil pull both armatures in so this coil uh, sorry this armature closed this armature closed my lights changed position now uh, my holding contact has a closed position so when i release my button here current now flows through my holding contacts to keep my coil activated because my normally open contacts uh my holding contacts are across my normally open push button so that's the path of current to keep my coil activated if I were to press any one of my three normally closed push buttons, it should deactivate the coil and my uh, armatures will pull in and what was normally op open uh, will become closed. Whatever was normally closed becomes open. So let's try this one. And they switch positions. Turn it on again. Let's try second position. There we go. Turn them on again. Third position. There we go. Three different positions that I could energize from one, de-energize from one, 
de-energized from two, de-energized from three. And every time my lights change positions. Okay. So you should be able to draw a schematic symbol of all this, which is procedure three, having three uh, normally closed push buttons to deactivate one normally open push button. There you go. Make sure that you label all your drawings and uh, your schematic, your terminations for all your uh, connections on your relay, your relay coil two and seven. Both of my armatures, I used one and three for my holding contact and I used eight with five and six to operate and control each light here. And again, I have a 24 volt side and I have a 120 volt side. My control side is here. My power side is over here. Running power to my terminal number eight. I came out of both normally open and normally closed to operate one light, uh, to energize one light at a time, depending on the operation of my coil. Perfect.